Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Paige, I'm a nursing student, and I post college-related content. I'm currently a senior in my nursing program, so I'm in my psych and public health rotation right now. I have one more semester to go after this one. It's my high acuity slash synthesis. And um, yeah, so today's video is going to be a what's in my clinical bag. And so this here is my bag. So I actually take this bag to clinical work, which um, I'm like a student intern at a hospital with a nurse and um it's also my gym bag so i kind of use it for pretty much everything um it's like my favorite bag it's such a good size it has so many pockets and yeah let's get into it it's kind of awkward to hold but first i will show you all my badge here and so my cute little badge clip is a little brain because i'm in my psych rotation i am on a neuro floor for my internship so it's kind of perfect and then here on my badge i just have a highlighter and a sharpie they come in handy and then I have my badge. This one is the one for my internship. I also have another knife to switch out for clinical. Um, the other one's probably in here somewhere. And then my student ID is like below it. And then saying that I got the flu shot, this is my one from last year, but um, I never got like one for this year. So I just left this one on. And then my school gave me this little card and it is just like a basic assessment to kind of help if you forget. And then on the back of it, it shows a pain assessment and um, so those are kind of just little cheat sheets there for you. I've really never used them, honestly. Like I was just kind of looking to see what was on them because I've never used them. But if you forget, it's there and it's helpful. And then this just says that I am a student nurse and it like kind of shows at the bottom so everybody knows. And then I put my COVID sticker that I got my vaccine on the back. Because sometimes I'll be like in my patient's room and it'll flip over and instead of just being all white, like at least they know something. I don't know. But I hate when it flips over because then they don't know my name. But or that I'm a student nurse, especially my internship, or I guess in clinical, I want people to know that I'm a student nurse because like, I don't know, I'm not the professional yet. This bag is a Steve Madden bag. I actually got it for Christmas for my mom, so I'm not sure where she got it, but it is Steve Madden. And there's two pockets down here on the outside. One of them I think is just empty. I don't put anything there. And then the other one here, I just have a little hand sanitizer and this one's the like stress relief um eucalyptus and spearmint flavor from or scent i guess from bath and body works i really like this scent it helps calm you down and so i leave that on the outside there and then so it has three pockets so there's one pocket here one here and then one big zipper i'll do the outside pockets first i think they're perfect for fitting like a laptop for traveling and stuff which is kind of like originally why i got this but it just kind of has been used now as my clinical bag. I just kind of throw stuff in here too. So just one big bag. And so first I have my stethoscope and um, I love this stethoscope. It's a Littman, it's all black. And uh, my mom got me these cute little things um, to like put my name on it on Amazon, I think. It's cute there, so I guess I don't lose it. So I have my stethoscope. I have these goggles that I have to wear when I go into patient rooms now with like COVID. They're very fashionable. And so, yep, there's those. We had other ones, but I broke mine. So I had to get new ones. Well, I have a bunch of alcohol swabs. When I come home from work, pockets are always full of like swabs and stuff, alcohol swabs. And so I just kind of throw it in here to use at my next shift because obviously I'm not gonna throw it away, but as far as that, Here's my badge for my, um, just like being a student clinical, not my like work one. I have another hand sanitizer. Um, another alcohol swab. I have my little scissors, they're purple, they're so cute. Um, I have one of my pen lights and this pen light's actually really nice. It says like the different pupil sizes and um, it's perfect. So my scrubs have a little pocket up here instead of down there. And so I put this in that pocket there. It's perfect. And then I have this cute little pencil pouch that says my name on it. My mom got me this. And inside of it, I keep all of the other little badge thingies that um, I'm currently not using because the packs that I got came with multiple. And so these are just the other colors that I'm not currently using so I can have them for when these run out. And then I also have a couple pens. I got most of these. Yeah, I got these for my school. Um, for who knows what. 
And then I have a full size highlighter, which I probably won't use because I have my like mini one. But I always keep a pen in my pocket with my pen light. And um, that's all I keep in that little pocket. But my, these scissors I keep in my scrub jacket. Cause I always have my scrub jacket. If I'm not wearing it, then I'm, I have it around my waist because my scrubs don't have like two pockets of, like on the um, stomach area. So I keep all my like alcohol swabs and all that in my scrub jacket. And I find that, that that works for me because I do love my scrubs. I have the figs and the like style that I have don't have pockets there and it's okay. I just use my scrub jacket. Okay, so that's everything in this pocket. Here I have a huge lotion and this is just a pink lotion, I don't know, I just had it, but um, using hand sanitizer every time you go in and out of a patient's room, my hands get so dry. I try to wash my hands with soap and water as much as I can, but if I'm like busy and I don't have time to like actually do that, I mean, I just use the sanitizer and it dries my hands out so bad. So when I get a chance, I wash my hands with soap and water and then I put this on and I just find that I need lotion because that sanitizer will dry especially like some are worse than others where i used to be a tech um a couple summers ago the hand sanitizer would like peel my hands like it would be so bad but the one at my current hospital is not that bad but still i like to put on lotion okay and then on this side i have all of my extra bad drills that i'm not currently using i showed these in a, a, another video of mine when i got them but i just have a bunch of other bad reels this one is the cutest he's a little Dinosaur, I think that one's perfect for peds. And um, a sunflower one. And then I called more dinosaurs because it came with multiple. But all of these are super easy to change. So they're like retractable. And then they have this to clip onto you. But all of them um, have this here so you can open it and easily like use it, if that makes sense. So I don't have to like use one and I'm only stuck to that one. I can change it out as I wish. I'm really happy with my brain right now though. So I'll probably switch at my like next rotation maybe. Okay. Oh, I'm realizing I lost my tape. Hmm, probably left that in patient's room. And then this is just my form for my internship that my preceptor has to sign every time I leave. It's literally like, looks crazy because I just have stuffed it in here so much. And um, I've been at my internship for a couple months now. And so after every shift, she fills this out so that my hours are tracked. I forget sometimes, like last time I went, she didn't. And here on my um, little zipper, my aunt got me this cute little chain thingy. It's got like a heartbeat, a little stethoscope, and it says here, save one life, you're a hero. Save 100 lives, you're a nurse. And so I put it on there because I think it's super cute. Okay, so in here, I kind of have a lot. So it has two pockets right here on the wall. And so I keep sunglasses in one because like I said, I use this to go to the gym. And so I wear those to the gym and like coming home or to clinical or work. I always keep a granola bar in here just in case I get hungry. Little chapstick, <laughs> Juicy Couture, just like a small perfume. I've had this for forever. So I just stuffed it in here because it's a small size. I don't really use it. Um, I have a mini deodorant. It's the cutest thing ever. I had to buy it. And then I thought my um, clinical bag is perfect for it. Not that I really care what I smell like at clinical or work, but after a 12 hour shift, you'd be surprised. And then I have another chapstick. So that is this, these pockets here. And then there's one zipper pocket on the other side here. And I just keep all of my tampons in here. Okay, and then I have this water bottle that I love. It says nurses call the shots and it has all these little graphics. My boyfriend actually got me this for Christmas. And so um, I take it to, oops, I take it to work and clinical. I love it. And I like refill it. Usually in a um, in a 12 hour shift, I'll refill this about three or four times. Try to drink all the water I can. And then I also keep in here my planner, just cause I like to keep this with me wherever I go, just to make sure that I don't have to add anything. Or like if somebody like is asking me about scheduling, I know what my schedule's like. So I keep this in there. And if you're wondering, this is the Erin Condren one. And I like was able to personalize it. Every Christmas I ask for a new one. So I like design it and then I send it to my mom and ask for it. And then this is my week. I always write a little to-do list. Beginning of every month, there's a bunch of blank pieces with just like note paper. And so I'll put my to-do list there or I'll put it at the bottom because there's always an empty day. 
And yeah, I love this planner. I highly recommend it. And it's so cute and fun. It has all my people on it. Every rotation, we always get like a packet of paperwork that we need to take to every clinical. And it's just like our assessment forms we need to fill out. So right now, because I'm in my psych clinical, I have this one. It's not too big this semester. Typically our clinical packets aren't too big, but um, yeah, so this is it. I don't want to show you this because it has patient information. Let's just take that out. This is something that I colored with one of my patients, but um, all of these here aren't filled out yet. So these are just assessment forms. Oh, this is like common psych terminology. So like, like I said, it has lessons in it. And then our assessment forms, they're actually kind of long, especially for psych, because it's more of like an interview and like questions. But this is what's in here. And then I just um, took out the ones that I filled out with my patient. And I put them on the like little sleeve on the side there. And so I have that. This is like the one thing that I have to make sure I take to every clinical. If nothing else, I need my assessment forms. And then I have a little clipboard that I take and I'll like take out the assessment form for the week and take it into my patient's room on this clipboard so I don't have to take my whole binder in there. Um, and then I have these two books that I use. So I mainly use these in my med surge rotation, but this one is a nursing drug reference book. And so it has every drug in here by um, generic name and then like side effects to watch out for, what it's used for, the pharmacology, like everything. This book is very helpful. And then I have this little book and this one is all about labs and diagnostic tests. And so um, if when I go in, I look up my patient and like obviously look up their labs and if there are any that are um, abnormal, I'll if I don't know off the top of my head, I'll look it up in here and it tells you like why it would be elevated or decreased. It's actually a very, very helpful book. And this also has helped me on plenty of assignments. So I love this book and the other. I just always keep my wallet in here, especially for work. I just want my ID in here and like my credit card in case I need it. Everything fits in here very well. It's a pretty big bag as you could see. And like everything that I've shown obviously fits in here. I don't always take all of this stuff to every clinical, but um, right now with my psych clinical, this is pretty much what I'm taking to everyone. Um, to work, I don't take like obviously my clinical binder or my books, but um, everything else I take to work because I don't know, a 12 hour shift, I kind of need all my goodies here. And so yeah, this is my clinical bag. Also, it doesn't fit right now with all my books, but when I go to work, I put my lunchbox in there and that fits in the bag without the books. I'm just going to clinical and it's like, all of my clinicals have been different times and different lengths of time, like based on each semester, I mean. And so like my med surge clinical is 10 hours long. So we did take a lunch. Um, this semester, my psych one isn't that long and it's in the afternoon, so we don't get a lunch break. So I don't take it now. I obviously take this to work. But yeah, that is everything that is in my clinical bag. She's quite hefty, but it's, I don't know. I think it's like the perfect bag for it. And it's black, so I don't have to worry about it getting dirty. If anybody has any recommendations for other things to put in here, please comment those down below. Or if you have any questions about what I put in here or why. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!